Kamathanga Fish Farm. This is Intervlog, and today we are going to Kenya. We are going to Kenya to show you one of the best fish farming company in Africa. Or the best fish farming company in Africa, based on automation. This fish farming we are going to show you today is it's unbelievable. It is an automated fish farm, meaning that the fishes are fed not by human, but by robots. Everything is robotic here. The feeding of the fish is automated. The supply of the water is automated. The cleaning of the water is automated. The filtering is automated. Everything here is automated. And the name of the fish farm is Kamutanga Fish Farm. The Kamutanga Fish Farm is very large. It's one of the largest fish farm I've ever seen in my life. And as we proceed, you are going to believe me because what I'm seeing here is unbelievable. The owner of the fish farm, who is Anthony Indeito, narrated how he started the fish farm. He said, in the beginning it wasn't easy, and that is how life is. He started from a very small fish farm, and from then he began to expand. He did it based on the love he has on fish farming. Today he is a billionaire. He is a multi-billionaire in dollars. He has billion, billion, billion fishes here, very popular in Kenya, as you can see it. So in fish farm, he produces tilapia, mainly tilapia. This is the reason I say that there is no business as profitable as fish farming. You can see it. You just need to learn how to do it properly. He also advised people who wants to join fish farming that the most important thing is the feeding. Here he produced the feeding himself. So the feeds are produced here. He mixed the feeds here and use it to supply to the fish farm. And he is quite popular. Not only that, but one amazing thing is that he still sell his fish in the market. He has a store or a shop, very, very popular in Kenya, where he sells his stuff. It is called Everything Fish Store. There, he sells his fish. And sometimes people come there to the company to buy the fish directly from the company. But whenever people are not coming like before, he would take it to the market where he says it. And he said that it is a very lucrative business and the demand is very high. Therefore, he called many Kenyans to join us into the fish farming because the demand is high. His target is to be able to feed the whole Kenya because the demand is more than the production. And he is praying that maybe in the future his fish farm could be able to feed the whole Kenya and join. I also asked Kenyans to join him so that the dream would be achievable instead of importing fish from other countries. And here, when he was interviewed, he said that the fish farm is profitable because the world has realized that the red meat is not a good option for health. Fish is much better than red meat when you talk about good health. So everybody is diverting from meat to fish. And this is the reason the demand for fish increases. And this is a very brave idea. Not only that, he also creates employment for people around him. It is not less than 150 people working in the fish farm. There are so many works here going on apart from the automation. The automation is good, but it's good because everything is computerized so that the fish cannot get affected and will grow faster. We should also understand that this fish farm is the first fish farm in East Africa to receive RSO Echomax certification because the place is environmentally okay. And he called on Kenyans to join to reduce the employment, and he promised to build more. And this is the reason I like fish farming. I like fish farming not only because of the profit, but it brings employment. It take youth out from the street and makes everybody busy. And also fish is good to the health. Instead of most of all these young boys and girls who have graduated from school, instead of them roaming on the street, carrying file, going up and down, looking for work, why not go to your village and farm? There is no work much important than fish farming and other farming as well. You can do poultry farm. Any animal is good. Not only animal farm, crops is also good. But to me, I choose fish farming because it's very profitable and more control level. Because you are a bit educated, you can actually read about fish by yourself. Go to online and read about fish. Read about the feed and also produce it based on what you watch online. The life is trial. These days, there are many things done online. Some class are done online. After the coronavirus, everything is now becoming online business because coronavirus also gave us one advantage to understand that we can do everything online. During the coronavirus, the United Nation meeting was done online. Therefore, what are you looking for after your graduation? Why are you carrying fire going from one office to another? You don't need a lot of money for you to start fish farming. 
Go to your village, buy 500 fishes, $250. Begin with a small tank, cheap tank. You can dig it by yourself. As you gain the experience, you expand. That is how life is. Most of the people who have fish farm today, they did not start big. No, they started very small. And look at how they are. Most of them are now millionaires. Each of them started very small. Therefore, I tell the youth to go and queue onto the line because it is a nice business. Go to fish instead of you going from one office to another. Carry your file. Is it not better for you to use the experience you have gained from school to help yourself? There is nothing like risk here. This is a business. You need to love it. Once you love it, start with small amount of money. Forget about going to a club. Forget about enjoying yourself. Forget about driving good cars for some times because now you are going to deal in a business. You don't need fancy life anymore for the moment until you get yourself back. By the time you will get yourself back, you may not even need those fancy cars because you will see it as meaningless. Also, the fish farm will also help you. Help people around you. Because once you have the fish farm and the fish farm is growing, you begin to employ people. Not only that, you have found a job, but you have created a job for other people. Therefore, you remove people from poverty also. The Kamutanga fish farm is now the most populous fish farm in Kenya as a whole. The owner, when he started, he never believed that it would be like this. And when he asked how did he make his fish farm automated, he said that it was when the Nederland visitors came to Kenya. And they came there and advised him that since the fish farm is becoming bigger, that they have another way to make it so that he will not be changing the water because the bigger the size, the more the work. And when it gets too big, the work will be too much and to control it will be more difficult. And in this time, you will need a machine. So he was advised to talk to a company in the Netherlands and the company actually came and helped him automate the fish farm. Today, it is one of the most beautiful fish farm and one of the most lucrative fish farm in the world. He said it was not by his power, but it was just by luck. Sometimes people go to this, to this Kamutanga fish farm to take a look, to see, to view. Students go there, people go there just to take a look. And why it is good? It is not done in the town, it is done in the village. It also creates work for the villages. Employ the youth there, brings development. People go to the village to watch the fish farm or to go there to look for work. And that is how it creates also development apart from employment. So what I'm seeing here is unbelievable, and the story is amazing. As you can see, there are so many tanks here. Each tank contained millions of fishes, thousands. Many trucks comes here to bring material for the feeds, to mix the feeds and take fish into the market where they have their store and distribute their fish from there. This is unbelievable. This is now a multi-million dollars, started by only one man. You can do it if you want to be a fish farmer. Then why are you carrying fire looking for work? Take a step. Not only fish farming, you can join poultry farm as well. Poultry farm is as good as fish farm. I have said that my channel, I will use it to tell people to do fish farm because it is a very nice business. Today we are in Kenya and we are happy for what Anthony and Dato did in his community. This should not only be done in your community, it should be done anywhere you live. Go to any village, establish fish farm there, and then you begin to expand. As you can see, what I'm seeing is amazing. I've never believed that Kenya has such a beautiful fish farm and such automated fish farm. Everywhere is clean, neat. Here he has millions, millions of tilapia being taken to the market daily. He harvests fish every day. There is no single day he doesn't harvest fish, so he still plant fish every day because this is what we call rotational. As you are taking out, you are replacing. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Therefore, I will finish here, and I say thank you very much for watching. And I believe what Anthony Dento did in Kamutanga Fish Farm, Kenya, is unbelievable. And it is something that is very, very recommendable to anybody. The tilapia fish farm in Kenya, known as Kamutanga Fish Farm, is one of the biggest in the world entirely. Thank you very much for watching, and keep watching Intervlog.